Have you ever stopped to wonder how much money is spent on wars worldwide? It's a question worth pondering. Each year, leaders across the globe dedicate an astronomical portion of their budgets to military expenditures. According to the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, global military spending in the year 2023 was nearly $2 trillion. That's trillion with a T, a number so colossal it's hard to even wrap our heads around. To put that into perspective, imagine a stack of $1 trillion $1 bills. It would reach nearly a quarter of the way to the moon. Now double that. That's how much the world spends on military budgets and wars in a single year. But let's not just talk about the money. The human cost is equally, if not more, devastating. Lives are lost, families are torn apart, and communities are left in ruins. The ripple effects of war are felt far beyond the battlefield, impacting generations to come. Now, imagine for a moment if we could divert those funds. What if that money, instead of fueling the machinery of war, could be used to feed the hungry, educate the uneducated, or provide healthcare to those without? What if it could be used to combat climate change or to invest in sustainable development and peace-building efforts? Imagine the possibilities. We could eradicate poverty, improve education, provide healthcare for all, combat climate change, and so much more. The potential is truly staggering. The reality is that each dollar spent on war is a dollar that could be spent on improving the human condition. It's a dollar that could be used to build rather than destroy, to heal rather than harm, to create a future that we can all be proud of. The numbers are staggering, aren't they? But what if we could use that money for something else? Let's venture into that world of possibilities together as we explore how the cost of war could be transformed into a force for good. Imagine the power of these war funds if they were redirected to support good causes. The potential impact of such a redirection is staggering. It's akin to holding a golden key that can unlock numerous solutions to the world's most pressing problems. Now let's take a moment to really picture this. A world where the billions, yes billions, currently spent on military operations and war machinery are instead funneled into initiatives that uplift, empower, and sustain humanity and our precious planet. What could we do with such a vast pool of resources? Here's a hint, a lot. We could start by making a significant dent in global poverty rates. Imagine being able to provide not just the basic necessities, but also offer opportunities for individuals to rise above their circumstances and lead fulfilling lives. No child would have to go to bed hungry, no parent would have to worry about putting food on the table. We could revolutionize education, ensuring that every child, regardless of where they're born, has access to quality learning opportunities. We could foster environments that encourage curiosity, innovation, and critical thinking, ultimately shaping a generation of leaders and changemakers. We could make healthcare universally accessible. No longer would people have to choose between getting medical help and maintaining their livelihood. No longer would life-saving treatment be a luxury available only to the privileged few. And let's not forget about our environment. We could invest in sustainable technologies, clean energy, and conservation efforts to combat the looming threat of climate change. We could ensure that future generations inherit a planet that's not just survivable, but thriving. These are just the tip of the iceberg. The possibilities are endless when we choose to invest in people and the planet over profit and power. The possibilities are endless, let's delve into some of them. Poverty, a global issue that could be substantially alleviated with these funds. Imagine if we could divert the immense financial resources currently used for wars and instead focus them on improving the lives of those living in poverty. The sheer magnitude of these funds has the potential to bring about significant change. And it's not just a pipe dream, it's a feasible reality. Let's consider this. Improving living conditions. What does that mean? It means providing clean drinking water, nutritious food, and decent housing. It means constructing roads and bridges to connect remote areas with cities, thus opening up economic opportunities. It means investing in renewable energy sources to provide consistent and affordable electricity. With this kind of funding, we could build the infrastructure that forms the backbone of a thriving society. Next, education, the key to breaking the cycle of poverty. We could use these funds to build schools, hire qualified teachers, and provide necessary learning materials. When children have access to quality education, they gain the skills and knowledge needed to lift themselves and their families out of poverty. Education doesn't just feed minds, 
it feeds futures. And then there's job creation. By investing in local businesses and supporting entrepreneurship, we can stimulate economic growth and create employment opportunities. With jobs come income, stability, and a sense of self-worth. It's a ripple effect that benefits not just individuals, but entire communities. It's a matter of priority. Instead of funding conflicts, imagine if we channeled our resources into building, nurturing, and empowering. Imagine the world we could create, a world where poverty isn't a life sentence, but a problem we've overcome. And it's not just about money. It's about values, choices, and the kind of world we want to live in. It's about recognizing the potential in every person and giving them the tools to realize that potential. With enough funding, we could make significant strides towards eradicating poverty. But it's more than that. With enough will, compassion, and courage, we could transform the world. And isn't that a goal worth striving for? Education is the foundation of our future, yet many around the world lack access to it. Imagine a world where every child, regardless of where they are born or the circumstances they are born into, has access to quality education. A world where every school has enough books, every classroom has enough seats, and every student has enough to eat. This isn't just a lofty dream, it's a possibility. The billions that are currently being funneled into wars could be repurposed to create this world. We're not talking about just building more schools, though that is a crucial part. We're talking about a holistic approach to education improvement. This money could be used to provide scholarships, ensuring that financial constraints are not a barrier to learning. We could fund teacher training programs because a well-trained teacher is the backbone of a successful education system. And we could invest in educational resources and technology because in the 21st century, digital literacy is as important as traditional literacy. But it's not just about pouring money into education. It's about investing wisely. It's about making sure that every dollar spent is a dollar that brings us closer to a world where education is not a privilege, but a right. We could invest in curriculum development, ensuring that what is taught in schools is relevant, engaging, and prepares students for the challenges of the future. We could fund research into education methods and pedagogy because we're always learning better ways to teach and learn. And here's the thing, investing in education doesn't just benefit the individual students, it benefits all of us. An educated population is more likely to be innovative, to create new solutions to old problems. They're more likely to be engaged citizens, contributing to their communities and their countries. And they're less likely to engage in conflict because they have more opportunities available to them. In short, Diverting war funds to education is an investment in our collective future. It's an investment in a world that is more peaceful, more prosperous and more just. A better educated world is a better world overall. Quality healthcare should be a right, not a privilege. This is a principle that many of us adhere to, but the reality is that many around the globe lack access to basic healthcare services. Imagine a world where funding that's currently used for wars is instead directed towards improving healthcare systems. The possibilities are endless. Firstly, these funds could significantly improve healthcare infrastructure. In many parts of the world, hospitals are under-equipped and lack the necessary facilities to provide adequate care. Picture newly built hospitals, well stocked with modern equipment, in regions where such facilities are a rarity. Think about clinics in rural and remote areas, where people often have to travel great distances to receive medical attention. The funding could make these clinics a reality, ensuring that everyone has access to care, no matter where they live. Next, consider the impact on medical supplies. The lack of basic medical supplies is a grim reality in many hospitals and clinics. These funds could ensure that medical facilities have an ample supply of necessary equipment, from syringes and bandages to more complex machinery like ventilators and MRI machines. Imagine a world where no patient is turned away due to a lack of supplies. Finally, let's talk about research. Across the globe, scientists and researchers are working relentlessly to find cures for diseases, develop more effective treatments, and improve our overall understanding of human health. However, all this research requires funding. The redirected funds could provide a significant boost to medical research, possibly leading to breakthroughs in treatments for diseases that currently have no cure. In conclusion, 
Diverting funds from wars to healthcare could transform the world. It could ensure that quality healthcare isn't just a privilege for the few, but a right for all. It could lead to improved healthcare infrastructure, an abundant supply of medical equipment, and accelerated medical research. With enough funding, quality healthcare for all could become a reality. Our planet is in crisis, but what if we had the funds to make a real difference? Just imagine those billions currently funneled into conflicts and wars were instead diverted toward combating the looming threat of climate change. The possibilities are not just significant, but transformative. Let's start with renewable energy projects. These projects, be it solar, wind or hydro, are the future of our energy consumption. They offer a clean and sustainable alternative to the fossil fuels that have been choking our atmosphere for decades. With a financial boost, we could expedite the development and implementation of these projects, drastically reducing our carbon footprint. But it's not just about developing new technologies. It's also about healing the damage we've already inflicted. That's where reforestation comes into play. By planting millions of trees, we can absorb the excess carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. This not only helps to offset our emissions, but also restores biodiversity and provides livelihoods for communities around the world. And let's not forget about the power of education in our fight against climate change. Funding could be used to develop comprehensive educational programs that teach the importance of sustainability and climate action. This would foster a generation of climate-conscious individuals equipped with the knowledge and passion to continue this vital work. One more area where funding could make a significant impact is in climate research. With more resources, scientists could better understand our changing planet and develop innovative solutions to mitigate and adapt to these changes. Climate change is a global challenge that requires a global response. Diverting war funds towards these initiatives could kickstart a green revolution, creating a world that is not just more peaceful, but also more sustainable. The reality is, we have the means to make a real difference. The only question is, do we have the will? A greener planet is within our reach. Lastly, what if we used war funds to promote peace instead? Imagine a world where the billowing smoke of conflict is replaced by the calm breeze of harmony. How, you ask? By redirecting the colossal funds spent on wars towards diplomacy, peacekeeping efforts and conflict resolution initiatives. Let's start with diplomacy. Diplomacy is the art of resolving disputes, fostering understanding and building relationships between nations. It's a powerful tool that can prevent conflicts before they even start. Now imagine if we supercharged our diplomatic efforts with the funds currently spent on wars. We could invest in training a new generation of diplomats, establish cultural exchange programs to foster understanding and fund diplomatic missions to defuse tensions and mediate disputes. Next, let's talk about peacekeeping. United Nations peacekeeping operations are crucial in maintaining peace and stability in conflict-ridden regions. They protect civilians, help deliver humanitarian aid, and support the implementation of peace agreements. However, they are often underfunded and overstretched. By diverting war funds to peacekeeping, we could ensure that these missions have the resources they need to be truly effective. Finally, conflict resolution initiatives. These are programs designed to address the root causes of conflicts, whether they're economic, social, or political. They can include everything from community development projects to initiatives aimed at promoting social justice. By funding these initiatives, we could tackle the underlying issues that often lead to conflicts, reducing the need for military intervention in the first place. In a nutshell, by redirecting the vast sums spent on wars to diplomacy, peacekeeping, and conflict resolution, we could create a world where peace isn't just a fleeting moment between conflicts, but a sustainable long-term reality. Peace is not just a dream. It is a possibility. A very real possibility if we choose to invest in it. So let's make the choice to invest in peace. To invest in a better, more harmonious world. Because the cost of conflict is too high, and the rewards of peace are too great to ignore. We've seen the possibilities. Now, it's time to make a choice. The choice to foster growth instead of destruction, to invest in life instead of death. We have the power to make a difference, to channel resources currently used for wars into causes that uplift humanity. Imagine a world where every child has access to quality education, where no one goes to bed hungry, where everyone can afford healthcare, and where we are actively fighting climate change. 
This is not a utopia, it's a possibility if we choose to divert war funds into these causes. So how can we make this happen? By raising our voices, advocating for peace and supporting policies and politicians who prioritize these causes. By contributing to organizations that work towards these goals. By educating ourselves and others about the true cost of war and the potential of peace. Together, we can make a difference. The power to change the world is in our hands.